here's another word problem. So a 15 pound mixture of nuts is made from almonds and peanuts. The almonds sell for $8 per pound and the peanuts sell for $3 per pound. How many pounds of almonds and how many pounds of peanuts are needed if the mixture will sell for $6 per pound? So word problems are always difficult for students. That's what I found as a teacher. So there's some really good tricks that you can use here to be able to figure out the answer to this question. And the first one is with word problems, I'm not going to say every time, but the majority of the time, the last sentence, okay, is telling you what your variables are going to be. Okay. So let's look at what the last sentence is. How many pounds of almonds and how many pounds of peanuts? So how many pounds of almonds and how many pounds of peanuts. So right there, they're asking you how many pounds of almonds, how many pounds of peanuts. Those are your variables. That's what you're trying to solve for. So the most important thing to do is to label those variables. So let's call a, okay, number of pounds of almonds. And we'll call P number of pounds of peanuts. So now that we have our variables, now that we've defined our variables and, and we knew what they were based on what the question was, we can now look at the rest of the information in the problem and try to set up a system. Try to set up two equations. We have two variables, so we're going to need two equations to solve it. So let's see what we see here. So I see I think the best thing to do is underline the numbers that you see. So 15 pound mixture, $8 per pound and $3 per pound. Okay. So let's see if you want to look to your variables and see how those can help you use the remaining numbers. So let's see a 15 pound mixture. If a is number of pounds of almonds and P is number of pounds of peanuts and we're selling a mixture for a certain price per pound, Clearly, that 15 pound mixture is made up of pounds of almonds, a certain number of pounds of almonds, and a certain number of pounds of peanuts. So, right there, we see well, wait a second, A plus P is just going to equal 15. Boom, there's your first one. Nice and easy, right? Now, this is where it gets a little more difficult. The almonds sell for $8 per pound, and peanuts sell for $3 per pound, and we want the mixture to sell for $6 per pound. So how are we going to come up with that? So this is what I want you to think about. How do we calculate price per pound? We calculate price per pound by finding the total cost and dividing it by the number of pounds, right? Total cost divided by number of pounds. So in this case, we want that to equal six because we're told it's going to sell for $6 per pound. Well, we already know how many pounds we have because it was given at the beginning, 15. Okay. So what we can do here is here, I'll just write it directly below. So we're looking here. So then this, or you know what, maybe I'll do it over here so we can see it. We know it's going to equal six. The number of pounds we know is going to be 15. Okay. Cause we were told that. Okay. Now the question is how do we find the total cost? Well, wait a second, $8 per pound and $3 per pound. So if we know that almonds sell for $8 per pound, we know that eight times the number of pounds is going to give us the total cost for almonds. And we know that for peanuts, they sell for $3 a pound. So we know that three times the number of pounds of peanuts is going to give us the cost of peanuts. And together, these two give us the total cost. So we can come back over here to our system and say, ah, 8A plus 3P, okay, for our numerator, which is total cost. So for example, if you had one pound of almonds, it would cost $8. If you had three pounds of, um, sorry, one pound of peanuts, it would cost $3. So that would be $11 um, for two pounds, okay? Um, so that would be 11 divided by two is what, five and a half? So five and a half dollars per pound, but we want six, but that's just a, you know, a quick example to kind of think about it. All right. So now here's our system. Okay. So I'm going to erase what's over there. So we have some room. Let's solve this. 
So the first thing I'm going to tell you to do here is let's not make our life more complicated than it has to be. And we've got a fraction here, so let's just get rid of it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is multiply both sides for this one by 15. Okay, so check your later denominator over here. And 6 times 15 is going to be 90. Okay, so we can rewrite this up here, which is going to be 8a plus 3p um, equals 90. And then our other equation is a plus p equals 15. Okay, now I'm just going to solve this um, using, what do you want to do? We could do substitution, we could do elimination. I'm kind of I'm kind of a fan of elimination. I don't know why, I just always do it. So I'm gonna do elimination. I'm gonna multiply this whole uh, equation by negative three. So boom, boom. And remember, draw those arrows, don't forget. Okay, so then that's gonna give us negative three a minus three p equals negative forty-five. Okay. And then remember our first one, we're just gonna take it and bring it down there, uh, bring it, oops, down there. So we have eight a plus 3p equals 90, okay? So then we add them. So negative 3a plus 8a is going to be 5a, and negative 45 plus 90 is going to be uh, 45. Divide both sides by 5. a equals 9, okay? So a equals 9, and then because we know over here a plus p equals 15, we're going to, let me switch to a different color here. I haven't used purple yet. We're going to say, okay, um, so A plus P equals 15. So 9 plus P equals 15. So P, if we subtract 9 from both sides, P equals 6. Okay. So now I've got my two um, answers there. But I'm going to write it nicely with word problems. We always want to write the words, you know, if you have a word problem, I want a word answer. That's what I always used to tell my students. So I'm going to erase some stuff over here so that we have room. Okay. And then we can write it out. So I'm going to leave the fact that I solved for my variables over here. I'm going to leave the answer, the nine and the six. Okay. Okay. So Again, we've got A equals 9, P equals 6, okay? So what it means is if A is the number of pounds of almonds, okay, so it's going to be um, 9 pounds of almonds and P equals 6, 6 pounds of peanuts. So how many pounds of peanuts and how many pounds of almonds are needed if the mixture will sell for $6 pounds? So nine pounds of almonds and six pounds of peanuts are needed. And you literally just copy what the question said at the end, are needed um, in order to sell the mixture for $6 per pound. And we could actually even put in 15 pound mixture for $6 per pound, okay? So there you go, so hopefully you saw that. So the hardest part is this setup. And then after that, remember we solved for A, we plugged it back into this um, original equation to solve for P, we got our answers. And then remember, word problem, word answer. Nice job.